to my channel. Today we are working on programming challenge 3 in the uh, in chapter 11 in the book starting out with Java and this programming challenge is to create a property um, property tax uh, GUI um, that will calculate the property uh, tax for a property and um, the formula is is this uh, we have to ask the user the actual value of the property and um, we have to then multiply by 60% to get the assessed value and then we have to multiply it that with uh, 0 0.0064 to get the property tax uh, so let's let's start uh, creating the the GUI I already created the class and I extended and extend it to J, J frame. So we will create a J panel called the uh, main uh, panel. J panel. We need three of them. Uh, panel and a button uh, panel. We need J label, uh, J uh, text field, uh, J uh, button, and here we need J button, J button, J button. We're gonna change this to calc uh, button here exit uh, button and here we're gonna say value tf we're gonna change to here to j uh, text field and here we're gonna change value uh, label and we're gonna change here to a j label So that's what we need three panels and four different um, one uh, label one text field and two buttons then we will create a um, constructor for this class uh, proper t tax and always the last line of the constructor is set visible to true when you inherit from the J frame class. A default close operation uh, J frame to execute on close. Set size to 300 by 200. And um, here we're going to add the main panel to the uh, north side of the window. And you're gonna say the title will be uh, property tax calculator. Then you're gonna uh, here we're gonna say a build panel private uh, void build panel. And all we have to do in this method is to set the main uh, panel layout to uh, border layout. We have to set uh, the the border of uh, of main uh, panel to empty uh, border which has 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 pixels from all corners. Then we have to set the layout of the panel that will contain the label and the text field. This will have a grid layout. It will have one 
row and one column and the button panel will be exactly the same and um, after that you have to add uh, the the label to the panel value label and then we're gonna add a value text field here you can add a main panel you can add main the panel to the main panel and you're gonna say border layout center then we have to add the buttons to the button panel exit button then we add calculator but calculate button and lastly we add the button panel to the main panel and it will it will live in the south side of the window then we have to uh, have to handle the buttons when the button when the person clicks the buttons so if the person clicks the exit button what you're gonna do is um, Actually, listen. Uh, if the person uh, clicks exit, then we can exit the entire program to zero. System that system that exit to zero. And if the person clicks calculate, then we can calculate. Um, the property tags first we have to get the actual value from the text field after that you're gonna say double assessment assessment equal to actual value time is 0 0.6 uh, 6 which is 60 percent and um, the property uh, tax would be the assessment uh, time is 0 0.006 Four. So we're gonna we're gonna show the user actual uh, value value. I also need to format the money. EF equal new decimal format pound comma comma and triple pound period zero zero then you're gonna say plus df format actual value and you're gonna say assessment uh, df that uh, format and 
and lastly we're gonna say uh, property tax df uh, format property tax I think we are done let's run the program They used in the description. Hmm. Oh, there's there is a problem. We haven't added the the titles for uh, the buttons or the label. So the the first uh, button uh, calculator will be calculate. And here it would be exit. Uh, the text field would have 10 characters, 10 characters long. The label would, would be uh, property uh, value. So let's, let's run it again. I forgot to add the title for each uh, object. Okay, so in the book they they used a ten thousand dollar actual value. So they said, if you have a ten thousand um, dollar actual value, if if the property has a, a ten thousand actual ten thousand dollar actual value, the assessed um, property uh, tax the assessed value would be six thousand. So let's let's enter ten thousand. So the assessment should be. 6,000 and the property tax should be $38 and 40 cents. Uh, so let's, let's run it. As I told you here, it's 10,000. Um, so when you multiply 10,000 by 60% of that, it would be 6,000. When you multiply 6,000 uh, times Point zero zero six four, you get um, thirty eight point uh, forty, thirty eight dollars and forty cents. If I show you the description of this programming challenge, here they used if the actual value is ten thousand uh, dollars, the assessment would be six thousand, like we saw, and um, for every $100, um, 64 cents would be uh, would be taxed, and uh, the tax uh, for for the acre would be here at $38.50. dollars and fifty cents. Maybe I made a mistake here. What I was uh, copying, but uh, that is uh, the correct. That's the correct uh, amount. All we have to do is get uh, the actual amount. Then we have to uh, calculate the assessed value of the uh, property by multiplying sixty percent, and to get the property tax, we have to multiply. Um, 0 0.0064 so to um, sum up or recap the uh, the class uh, we created uh, three panels uh, the main panel the panel that carries uh, the text field and, and the label 
we created the button panel which carries the two buttons and we created the J label for the value uh, label the text uh, field uh, for the uh, value te uh, value uh, text field and the two buttons for the calc, calc button and exit button we created um, a constructor for this class and um, this would be the title I call the uh, method here build panel and here I added the main panel to the window and then position it to the north side of the of the window and here we set the size uh, we set the closing operation here we set the visibility of the window and in the in the method uh, build uh, panel um, we set uh, the layout for main panel and button panel and uh, to have a border and and to set uh, we set the main panel uh, layout to a border layout and the button panel to have a grid layout and the panel to have also a grid layout which um, which has a uh, one row and one one column and we added uh, the the label the text field to the panel we added the two buttons to the button panel and we added the panel and the button panel to the main panel and um, here we created the the listeners for the two uh, two buttons if the user clicks um, the calc button um, it will calculate the property tax if the user clicks uh, the exit button we exit the, the program and the calculation for the property tax is just simple we get the value from the text field then we multiply that value by 60 percent and uh, to get the property tax we multiply the assessed value by point uh, zero uh, zero six four uh, it could be it could be uh, 0 0.064 or 0 0.0064 I am not sure but um, look your your uh, programming description text if they say you have to multiply it by uh, 0 0.0064 then do that if they say multiply 0 0.064 then do that there will be a small difference uh, at, the, at the last uh, result uh, and here we just uh, show in the screen and lastly we create a main method here to run the program I hope uh, you find this helpful uh, if you did uh, please give this video a like and if you have any questions uh, or comments, please let me know. And if you like uh, these kind of videos, please uh, give uh, the, uh, a subscribe to this uh, channel. Thank you, and I will see you uh, next time.